Good to see you back on NJ Business Beat. Good to see you, Rhonda. As you probably know, Republicans want to see more money returned to taxpayers. So I guess the question is, how did you settle on that $900 million for the new anchor program? And was there any consideration to increase money going back to taxpayers? This is a significant investment, the anchor program, but one um, that we fully support and want to make. But we also need to make sure that we're funding all of the other critical programs that will help New Jerseyans. Um, almost 90% of our budget every year of our expenditure goes back out into uh, the communities and towns and schools throughout the state. So this money is out there working in our communities and we wanna make sure that we've got those resources available, that we had tax relief available and that we're able to keep a uh, a safe um, surplus amount and also utilize some funds to be able to pay off some of our more expensive debt and avoid taking on new debt. So there is, the governor's proposed over a billion dollars in additional um, uh, debt avoidance uh, for the coming year and defeasance. So that has saved the state already hundreds of millions of dollars in, in what we've been able to avoid so far with this recent budget. I have heard some disappointment from the business community about a lack of funding as they see it to make things more affordable. There's been some concern about the payment into the unemployment insurance fund to replenish that. Why not more money for businesses, especially since some of the revenue projections you've made show for a, a much smaller uh, ramp up, if you will? Well, you know, the governor has made significant investments in businesses um, over the past several years. And I think he mentioned in his speech how we've attracted uh, uh, enormous amounts of venture capital in the state. Our GDP uh, for the state in the, th the third quarter of 2021, which is the most recent available data, we uh, out, we out uh, tracked our neighbors in Pennsylvania and New York and the national GDP average. So we want to continue supporting businesses. I know um, there's been talk about uh, the unemployment insurance fund as a potential use for some of our um, uh, our funds, the federal funds, we still have about three billion or so left in 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 those funds. That uh, the governor is going to work with the legislature to determine where to best invest those funds to to encourage um, uh, short term turnarounds for the economy and long term range planning uh, for the economy. So uh, the governor has made significant investments in the business community and will continue to do so. This budget continues to do so. So we've talked about a lot of different programs. And of course, this year, the budget does not include any tax increases. But is the economy really going to grow enough to support these programs going forward and the spending behind these programs? Well, a lot of the investments we've made, um, especially when we've utilized the federal funds, has been with an eye towards investing in one-time expenditures that will not set us up for a long-term obligation. Because um, as you know, these, are, these funds are available right now, but they won't be available in the future. So the way we invest them has to be done in you know, a way that does not leave us on the hook to continue having to support the pro a, a long-range program into the future. Well, listen, it's been great doing some number crunching with you and getting some of the inside details on how the budget was put together. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.